All right, Becky and Luke here, and today what I wanted to do is kind of make a little bit of a video here to help some of you guys out who may have some UMK3 boards that are giving you some trouble or giving you a U63 error. Uh, this is something that I just found out here after I was working on my uh, Beast Busters board, and uh, for my Beast Busters board, I cranked up the, the plus 5 volts uh, to see if I could get more sound out of it, and it sounded like a little bit more sound was coming out. You could hear a little bit more sound effects, but it was still... Uh, a little bit uh, fuzzy. Actually, it was very fuzzy, but um, this board here, I, uh, I just plugged it in right after I got done with my Beast Busters board, and I forgot that I had the Plus 5 cranked up, and I'll show you what, uh, what this thing does here with the Plus 5 turned up. Something that uh, some of you may be experiencing, I'm not sure, but um, if you look at U63, it comes up red, all right? Now there's nothing wrong with this board, I repaired this board and it works fine, but uh, with the plus 5 here cranked up, it uh, shows U63 red. So what I'm going to do here is turn this off, turn my light back on, and go over here and we're going to crank this thing the other way. We're going to turn it down, and uh, this should be putting out, I don't know, maybe roughly a little bit less than 5 volts, but let's try this now and see what we get. So. Let's kill the lights again, and turn this thing back on. And that should come up green now. Yep, so as you can see, U63 will come up red if the plus 5 is uh, turned up too high. And that's something that I just figured out here uh, by, you know, having the, the plus 5 cranked up from my last board that I had on here and then just plugged in my UMK3 board and wound up getting uh, U63 red. And I thought, wow, that's really strange. This thing's never uh, acted up on me since I wound up uh, fixing that uh, U33 uh, on this thing. But as soon as I turned it on here, it came up red. And just to show you that it's not a fluke, um, you know, I'll turn it on one more time in this, this state here, and it'll come up green. We'll just go until it hits U63 and you can see it's popped up green so now let's go back down here again and uh, well I guess the lights are off but I'm gonna crank this thing all the way up here crank up the plus five and we'll turn this on again and this will pop up red so as you can see right there and with U63 being red um, it'll read as a bad ROM it'll still work but um, the graphics will be glitched up bad, and uh, the game will actually lock up a bit here. I'll show you what I mean. Let's see here. Try and start this thing up. This is ROM chip's bad. And the beginning here will have missing music, and it'll be a little bit glitched up. At least it was last time, so we'll see here. Yeah, as you can see, Mortal Kombat's kind of, it's stretched out here like this. So, let's uh, turn this off, crank this back down, and turn it back on again here. Alright, then we'll press our start key here, hold this down. And this thing will come up just like normal. So as you can see, it's uh, it's perfectly normal. So if any of you guys out there are having any trouble with your UMK3 boards, uh, these Mortal Kombat boards are extremely picky and uh, very, very sensitive when it comes to the uh, amount of voltage that you put on them. So if you have a U63 error that keeps popping up, you know, it looks like it's uh, semi-working, um, but it's glitched out. Uh, before you start messing around with stuff, uh, just try and crank down the, uh, the plus 5 volts on there. And it might be uh, an issue the other way around as well, if you don't have enough voltage going to it. It uh, might do the same thing. I don't know. I didn't try it with the voltage all the way turned down. But, yeah, just a little tip here I thought I could share with you guys to help you out. 
And uh, as you can see here, with this processing chip, I went and I put uh, some epoxy, well, some, some similar kind of epoxy resin around the outside of it to keep that chip in place. Haven't had one problem with it since I did that, so it's working out great. But just figured I'd share that with you guys, and that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Let's <laughs> go.